les ligatures. So even if it's a bit scary, let's start the video. And basically, what are we talking about when we're talking about les ligatures? Well, we're talking about two letters, uh, some strange letters, you might say. This is the first one, and this is the second one. They are quite rare in the French language, but basically you can see them and you need to know what they are. And that's the reason why I've been making this little video. So the first one is this E dans la. Okay, so basically if you translate directly, it's E inside or in a. And that's the reason why, because if you look carefully, it's only one letter here. And like if these two letters were glued Okay, or connected like that. So it's E dans la. Let's see a few examples of words that use this E dans la. And the first one is curriculum vitae. The second one is ex -aequo. Then etc. And then ad vitam Eternam. And so if you look carefully at these words, you realize that this letter is coming directly from Latin. Okay, so uh, and it's quite rare to see this letter in French language. Well, you've got here some examples, but uh, I've been choosing the, the, the more common examples because the other one probably you will you will never use them or maybe never encounter them. But anyway, uh, it is rare, but it does exist and uh, it can be a challenge in some cases for some of you to write this letter correctly if you want to write it with your computer because you've got to go through insert and then after that symbol so basically it's up to you if you want to write it correctly you should put of course this e dans la uh, if you don't manage to put it then just put a and after e uh, maybe your computer will correct it automatically you never know okay the second one is this one and it's E dans l'eau. So basically the same concept. So E inside O. All right. So because it's only one letter here and you get this O and E connected like glued okay, to each other. So let's see because this one is uh, actually uh, used a bit more often and I've been selecting few words. And the first one is un bœuf, un cœur. Un cœur, it's actually quite interesting because even if you write them differently, you pronounce them the, the same way. Un œil, un œuf, une sœur. Okay, so un bœuf, un cœur, un cœur, un œil, un œuf, une sœur. All right, so these words are actually not that rare and we'll see exactly what they mean. The first one, un bœuf, okay, steer, ox, or then un cœur, heart, un œuf, egg, un cœur, is it choir, choir? I'm not really sure about the pronunciation in English, sorry about that, I don't want to make any mistake. Then we've got Un œil, I, and then une sœur, sister. Okay, and this letter is actually uh, more often used, okay, than the, the previous one. Uh, and then it's, well, basically it will be exactly the same challenge if you want to uh, write it correctly with your computer, uh, whether you try to find uh, this letter by inserting uh, a symbol, okay, or then you just put O and then after that you will put a, uh, okay. Technically it's a mistake, but then basically if you cannot make uh, uh, in another way, then just write it O and a, uh, okay. 